there's just some details about the way that fragrance and fragrance allergy affect people who are sensitive to that that I want to explain. So the first thing to understand is that every single person is wearing like five to ten products that contain ingredients that many people are sensitive to. So being in an elevator with one person versus being in an elevator with five people, you're talking about five to ten offensive fragrances versus 25 to 50. So, you know, in terms of a living situation, I usually only have two or three roommates. And so I don't need the people that I live with to really change the products that they use because it's not that many people. And usually if everybody's all there at the same time, like I'm, a, I'm either asleep or I'm about to be asleep, right? But when it comes to work, there's two major differences. One is that most of the time, being at work means being around way more people than being at home. And also being at work means that a higher level of performance is demanded of you. If I'm at home and my roommate sprays a fragrance and I have a reaction, then I take Benadryl and it's fine. If I'm at work and someone does that and I take Benadryl, then I can't work because of how Benadryl affects you. So not only am I being exposed to exponentially more offensive products at work, but I'm expected to function at this much higher level. I'm expected to be able to talk coherently with all kinds of people about all kinds of things unexpectedly. I'm expected to be able to deal with complete strangers who walk up to me who are covered in allergens and I'm expected to be friendly and kind no matter how hostile they are to me while my throat is closing. And if I take the meds that I need to take, then I won't be able to function. This is why it's so important what products you buy and apply to your body. I can't function in public because of the choices that you make. And there are a lot of people like this. And a lot of them don't even know that fragrance allergy is what's causing their problem. Because for some people, the only manifestation of these types of allergies, these multiple relatively mild allergies that add up to big problems, most people don't realize it because their only symptoms are psychological. If you experience intense anxiety whenever you're around other people, it could be for purely psychological reasons, or it could be like 30% for psychological reasons and 70% for reasons involving the fact that the products that they've applied to their body put your body into a physiological state of trauma. I have the same reaction around people that I know and trust as I do around complete strangers. And people want to tell me that the problem's psychological, but it's not. There's no amount of therapy that will fix an allergy. That doesn't mean therapy won't improve allergies, but it won't fix it. You need either medical treatment or you need to remove yourself from that allergen. And since the second is usually impossible, you usually end up with the first and a little bit of the second. You know, obviously you can limit the amount of time you spend in public space, but you can't completely protect yourself from an allergen if every single other person is covered in it. And so I can't exist outside of home because everybody is covered in allergens.